Mapper, but we start on Nuke. It's Astralis G2. One map advantage to the Great Danes and a lot of expectation surrounding them. But they're no stranger to being considered the favorite. Let's see if the G2 Samurai will be able to take a slice. All right, then, here we go. The first map, it will be Nuke. G2 starting on the CT side, of course, is the pick of Astralis. And they certainly are the favorites coming into this one. The Danish Giants step into the server, and we got ourselves one smoke and a flash. Mages with the P250. Elsewhere, we got Kevlar across the board. Here he comes. One of the star players drops that smoke towards main entrance. He's looking for the long-range interactions here towards heaven as he starts to make his way towards secret. Oh, they gave Magis the P250. F very effective for that long-range duel. Kenny, in the meantime, is going to be preoccupied by four dropping T's, and he hasn't hit either of them. They will descend into Jax's crosshairs, and he doesn't get a chance to re-peak. Nice shots from Dupree, double dink, and all four CTs are going to be rotating in from the same location. Who is that to receive them? It's Magisk, no armor, and does manage to retreat well. While Bomb has gone down, the retake begins. We've got four angry CTs here towards the lower Bomb side. They're all focusing towards the vent side, trying to swing towards Decon, but this is looking fantastic now for Astralis. Four versus two, Kenny S and Amanek remain. And they've got a smoke, but there's the kit. And it looks almost impossible for them to even get a kill. Seems unlikely. Uh -huh. And Kenny S will be taken down eventually there. A very clean round from Astralis. Three for Glaive, two for Dupree. Job's a good one. Absolutely perfect. Going into the second round, you'll see absolute peanuts for them, given the absence of the kills. And you got to see that opening from Dupree. This was a great flank as well. Look at the timing on that. All three had their backs turned, starting to turn their attention towards Decon. So great timing. Three kills for Glaive in the end. A bit of a meal out of the last one, but all good in the hood. And we're ready to get into round two. A pretty delicious meal. Getting yourself three kills there. And there is the force by in response. The Nova shotgun chat. You don't see too many of those on Nuke, but yeah. uh, if ever there's going to be a map for it, I guess this would be the one. And uh, we'll see him towards the heart right now with the Desert Eagles around him. I, I always say this, I'm not a big fan of the CT Force by, but it always seems to work. So uh, let's see what they can make of it. Yikes. Samanek, one second he peeks out, the next second he's dead. We're 4v5 very quickly into this round as ladder control is taken. This is a great way to deal with these Force Buys. You're taking longer range duels. The pistols don't have as much power, and more two of them are stuck below ladder, Ooh. but the shotgun's working. <laughs> That's a surprise to see in the kill feed. Hunters managed to find a frag with that Nova shotgun. This is a roll reversal as well. Dupree's up, drops the bomb down lower, and there's two beneath him. He knows how powerful this position is, and he actually manages to find Nexa in transition. We'll get caught in the back, Jax. Ooh. Now with a rifle, maybe it's game time. Yeah, they're certainly going to go Ooh. for it. Jax receives a grenade down a 31 HP in Hunter. He has to have a chance with the shotgun. His device has no idea. He has to get close as possible. Oh, no. but it's not going to work out for the shotgun. It does for the AK-47. They could be onto something here. This kill might decide it. It's going to be Glade to pick it up. And maybe the chances of the round will Ooh. fall down with it. This kill from Kenny S. He finds a fantastic Ooh. one deep. There is a chance here, but Jack's being low. Magus almost has no chance of losing this now, considering he has no kip. He will time it to perfection as well. Confirm he's not defusing, and there'll be no time. So yes, they get all the kills. That's something. They'll save the AK-47. And now, Chad, do they force by into this next round. They've got all five players down. They've saved the AK, but they're on the CT side of Nuke. It's either going to be amazing for them they bought into it or it be catastrophic. Uh, look, I think it's way too early to be going for risks like that, but it is a long series, right? With best of fives, we normally I, say... I you feel know, like they have to take risks to this sort of game. Yeah, right? no, I, I agree, and I think that that's the type of G2 that would have the most chance of having success here today, but uh, that would go completely against all oh, of definitely. their game plan. They'd have to throw it completely out the window here, and I'm not sure if they're ready to do that just yet. Doesn't seem like it. We have got Hunter with the Kev Lawrence CZ, a couple of smokes there. They could have got themselves like SMGs for masses, but I, I tend to agree with the AK-47. Certainly an interesting question there as we'll get into round three. Jax with a hat trick in the previous will position himself towards ramp, but now they know the AK's there, they'll probably go elsewhere. Still looking to challenge. Device will go down momentarily. Takes a lot of damage, down to five points of health, and still they continue their approach with three, maybe four CTs on the other side. Yeah, they were positioned so ready for that. Astralis thinking better of it, and that likely will save the round for them. Hunter, he's been getting fantastic work done in this hut position, and he's equipped himself with an effective combo, CZ and a Kevlar vest. Device will go down. Jack's hunt pays dividends, and now he can back away. Weapon found. Not necessarily retrieved, but they'll be able to scoop that up if this round goes long. Time is a real big problem right now. They're almost locked in here in lobby. If Jax continues to pester them and they panic and go hard or squeaky, they might be in a lot of trouble here. We can see with the X-ray, there's an individual outside in Yard who's already taken so much control to lower. But they need to be able to get there. And at the moment, that's not an option. 
You're painting quite a bleak picture here, Chad. Maybe Glaive will be able to shine some light on the situation. Double kill out of the hut. And Ooh. that should be enough of the weight off the shoulders of Astralis. The in-game leader grabs the ball by the horns. He certainly does, Alex. And Jax and Kenny S remain. I don't think they'll be doing much more with this one. AK-47 and Galil found. To be fair, that money will be pretty decent going forward. Bear in mind, Kenny will almost certainly be getting the AWP. He can drop over that mass, or the Galil, I should say. He's also got the Desert Eagle to back him up with his AWP. So it will be Glaive to fight the way out of the round, but 3-0. Such a great start for Astralis here. They managed to get through cleanly, and uh, this round, not too bad either. They'll get an extra $3,500 on top. And Device, he might be tempted just to go for the MAC-10 here, considering he knows a four spawn in the second. Uh, might be a lack of cash here, but probably not with the two safe rifles. It's not a bad haul here. Can't even see if he can make it better. Running away now. Glaive thinking of chasing this one. Wanting to actually take him down. The AK from Jax. It'll strike again. But that'll be it. Put down their guns now. Speaking of guns, Jax with that AK-47 has prompted our trusty stats man of SEO to push one our way. Last time these two teams played Nuke against each other was Dreamhack Malmo. It was 19-16 uh, in favor of Astralis, and that was after they just added this international roster. Jax, however, was the key man in that game. He went 11 for 25, so 11 kills, 25 deaths, Oof. and he was exploited as the solo ramp player. But Malmo was when Hunter and Nexo had just joined. Jax has been learning English since then. So there's this yeah. team. We can only really, uh, I guess, use that, take it with a grain of salt. Well, here we go then. A few smokes deployed towards outside. We'll see if G2 can fend them off. That first gun round looking to be theirs. They have got the all for Kenny S, and Device does get the AK-47. I love that that one smoke is enough to completely deny Nexa information for this cross. They'll underhand the second, and away they go. No info for Nexa, but Kenny, God, he's going to have to deal with a lot. Does find the first. Repositioning nicely. That one might be enough to deter, and Nexa through the smoke, he's found Glaive. Big kills. Still not enough to find the round yet because that's coming. Device towards the warehouse, pulls one back. Four versus three, we know Kenny's down towards lower. Upper makes the most sense at this juncture. Astralis will have one minute remaining. They still have the majority of the utility, but here comes Jax, rotating with the AK. A very key fight here. You can see them shooting out the windows as Dupree goes up, suggesting that no one's there quite yet. And he's already snuck past. If Jax goes down because of that sound cue and he's still holding that, that would be ridiculous, considering how much time has passed. Jax does find Device in the trade. Oh, the angles! He does do a full circle and manages to keep it competitive. 2v3 then. Let's see what Zipex and Dupree can do. Good flash from Dupree. He knows there's a possibility of a player towards the CT vent. Zipex trying Ooh. to flush him out, but there's a freebie towards the AWP as well. Luckily, Amanek will swing from that aforementioned vent. And we've got a two versus one. Dupree, a chance to win this one, but both CTs positioned towards upper. He'll actually choose to go lower. And no one rotating as of yet. Now they've heard him. Off they go. The scramble begins. They will get there before him. So presumably they'll be able to deny, but the smoke is down. And does he want to commit to the spray? Hunter certainly does. Very low on bullets, and Kenny hits Damn. the first. Excuse me, Dupree looking for the last now. And Amanek behind the smoke. Dupree could actually hit the Ooh. shot, and he does. It's banging. 4 0. G2, their best chance, and it's ripped from them by Dupree. Ooh, ants in their pants there, moving around a lot. I'm not sure why Kenny was coming up that vent in that <laughs> I, situation. That's why I just said his name. You. I was still thinking about that death. I just said, right, they've got two on the upper bomb yeah. side floor. So logic dictates having one in the vent is fine just to get that call, have a transition player. He had the orb, maybe just wanted to get out of there. But what a world class play from Dupree. Struggled last week. He's in fifth gear, and the grand finals are fantastic for him. A two-on-one, a masterclass there, the full spray from Hunter, hoping he could deny the plant with nine seconds remaining. I don't mind it. We're getting right back into the action. Three flashes towards main, and the spray comes in for those AK-47s, but it will be oh. a couple for Zipex. Oh, no. Making a triple, nothing but headshots here, and they've got the man advantage. Can they find five in a row? It's looking very good for it. Jax has just oh, caught a wow. nade. Now there's flames, and he's still burning. Kenny does find a moment's respite throwing out the nade. No one's home. Planting lower, boys. Oh, wow. This round, Zipex just takes matters into his own hands. Beautiful. Yeah, this is looking way too good. G2, no, they have to save here. They're 5-0 down. Astralis on the T side of Nuke as well. If it's a CT side of the first sure, we'd be like, that's fine. That's pretty usual, but Astralis are loving it out there. I'd love to see the replay from Zipex. How see what that was all about. Third? I don't know. <laughs> Nexa, right, is the second highest rated player remaining in the tournament. Well, there's only two teams, right? Device is number one. Nexa is number two. He's been such a pivotal individual. So for him to come through that smoke and not just instantly nail that as Device puts yet another nail in the coffin of round number five. If they can take this all away from Kenny, this could be huge. 
It's Picky. Why is he fighting? Teddy! He should be okay with a flash at him. Oh, maybe not. It's going to be close. He'll be fine. There we have it. 5 0. Kenny S does save the orb. They've got enough to buy around it, but they need to part posting multiple rounds here. We got Astralis. Five under their belt. A good reservoir of cash as well. And we've got the single orb. M4s to join it. Decent utility. Diffuse kids there as well. So a full buy here. Luckily, no Mac 10s, considering that we don't have a single helmet there on the G2 side. Astralis, they've been given a, a perfect half here. Chad said the magic number was six, and we're just one round away from that, and we're going into round six. Good point, Henry. I forgot about the magic number. Yeah. And now Kenny looking to get the magic stick. A little wet. Does find the first. Magic's blood splattered across. And already, that's good enough to deter Astralis. That's the best open LG2 have had, and it's looking like it could get better. Tagged device in warehouse. His plans have been foiled. So they'll slow things right down here. Device knows he's been spotted. Glaber removes from vision towards main entrance. That's exactly what Nexa was. So trying to see if there's a gap available, but ultimately has to respect that smoke. And towards that side we go. Device still alive and kicking. And we joined by Glaive this time, the in-game leader. Trying to see if there's any opportunities towards outside. Making a lot of noise here. Nexus hearing it all. And Dupree, I don't Does think he he'll detect. It? No, I don't think so. Considering they've already been taken down here. There's so oh. many angles to look at and he he's hasn't committed to it. He might so clear it. He'll go down. He's going to clear it. He's definitely going to clear it. Oh, he sees the barrel. And he shoots the head. Jax gets absolutely rumbled, but he won't expect this one. Dupree flanked by Hunter from hut to lobby. He goes all the way around the world. Three versus three. 35 seconds remaining here, and it's a very odd round. Isn't We've got it? CTs transitioning towards lobby and ramp. Amonex somehow on the main hut roof. <laughs> and uh, bombs going down. It's uh, all sorts of odd here. How does Kenny get back into this with that AWP as well? They've lost heaven control. Devices going to lock down Squeaky and the vent. This is almost impossible. I have for no G2. idea how Rush is successfully observing this round. The CTs are back behind everyone's kind of role reversed. And now Kenny has lost that AWP in transition. They've got a kit, but now they need to find three kills. The bomb's halfway gone. Good shot from Hunter. Is it going to be enough? The incendiary will flush Slave out. Does he want to push Ooh. through it? And Device will get one in the back here. Hunter won't be full to using the bomb. He will get the information. He's now off it. And at this point, Hunter has a lot of work to do. And that's going to be it. Glaive wins. He knows it. 6-0. He doesn't even check it. Knows he's done enough. Here's the sound. And it does save away the weapon as well. 6-0. to zero. And for those that were wondering what the magic number thing is, it was a rough approximation given by us, by our dearest friend, Chad Sponge Burchill, way, way back. What was it? Probably... Oh, uh, maybe late 2018. Late 2018, I reckon, yeah. yeah. During the, the peak of their power. Just when Astralis were absolutely <laughs> destroying everybody. We talk about them being the best team in the world, the best lineup to ever touch Counter-Strike. Well, during their heights, Inferno and Nuke were lockdowns. If you ever saw those two maps in a series, you knew Astralis were going to win it. Teams had to ban out one of the two, and then they'd just punish them with the other. So... Nuke is one of those maps where if they can get the T side going, they can get six rounds. That should be more than enough. That should be it. We should call this right now. Close <laughs> it down. Move on to map two. See how Vertigo goes. Previous matchup, you can see there. 33 to 19 was the uh, opening kill advantage that Astralis managed to boast. Well, we've cast a lot of G2 recently. We know they're pretty handy with the Desert Eagles. I dare say this could be where they start to post some success. Four Deagles, actually three with the 5 7 in Amonex hands. AK for Hunt out. Brought over from the previous round, but Device now with his sniper rifle. You can see how fragile Astralis are, even with six rounds in a row. Money hasn't swollen out of control here, so all it's going to take is one of these victories to come through, and G2 will find a massive amount of rounds here. This looks like a boost to me. Device maybe. should be dead here, maybe. Oh, oh no, missing his shots next to stabilizing. Oh, and what on dear. earth was that, Magisk? Two targets, couldn't decide, shoots between the wickets, Dupree clawing things back. Well, a very strange round here. Zipex trying to oh. go by himself there towards Seeker. A little bit sloppy now from Astralis. Bomb is down, Jack's behind them. It looks like this round will work out for G2. Perfect little flank coming in. Oh, not the shot you want to be taking with the Deagle. Dupree should find him. You can hear him. <gasps> He's looking high. Jax has got the perfect position. Just, Dupree doesn't know, does adjust, and deals with it. Great movement of his mouse. Down 2v2. Oh and my Dupree. god, how are they winning this? He's so shooting he ducks. He oh, Hunter didn't want to be how spotted there. How did this fall there. apart? I don't know. It was looking so fantastic for them as well, Chad. I totally agree. So bomb down towards main. He's coming from Seeker. Won't be able to deny it. And there's only two options for him. Main entrance or the vent itself. He's been heard now. 
Wow. What, so can we have a recap? So many shots. Okay, so right there, G2 actually did fantastic with moving around the map. We saw as they were coming up secret, they completely caught Astralis off guard. We just catch up with our head-to-head -head that we highlighted before the game. These are the two Orpers. Device now five for five, Kenny three and seven. But uh, look, what what's going on in that scenario was fluffed shots, right? Because Nexa had a couple of chances. Jax had a couple of chances in the back as well, and they were unable to connect. It's just at the moment, Astralis, they're not looking shaken by the fact they're in a grand final. They're hitting some absolute bangers. And Dupree, instrumental now in that lower one-on-two -on situation, and now here and bailing them out Whoa. of uh, what could have been a round for G2. Well, Kenny told us if things are going well, you'll see him playing his game, finding opening picks, and there's one for G2 delivered. That's two opening picks for Kenny. This time, unfortunately, he doesn't hold on to it for long. Dupree beheading Jax. Dupree's on something yeah. wild tonight. He looks oh. like a beast right now. This is uh, similar scenes to what we saw earlier in the week as well. And next up, doesn't look good for him. There's the first Dupree. Here we Might go. get to take him down, but there's the double. Finally, a round looking promising here for the likes of G2. Four versus two. And a bit of a wall bang attempt there. One bullet hits towards Hunter. And we've got Kenny S rotating back to his outside. Nice shoulder M4. And we've got a four versus one. Money still low for Astralis, even after a 7 0 start. Any more damage he can inflict here then, financial or otherwise? It's worth the investment of time. So 45 seconds if you've got a drink, go grab it. Zipex is going to be here a while. Cup of tea. Yeah, if he can get two more kills, there's another magic number we got floating around here, and that's keeping the t CTs to only two individuals alive. Makes it much more difficult when the money situation is like it is to drop weapons across. Fortunately, they have max loss bonus. So with this, they'll just tick on down to 2,900, 2,400 as they start to pick up some rounds here. Yeah. Does find one, but quickly caught. Nice trade, nice setup from G2. But Nexa gets all the credit there. Double kill in the yard. He finds another. Kenny with the open. Let's see it from Device's POV. I'm looking at the left-hand side if you're interested, just to see how much time he had to react. Yeah, just a very long French leg just popping out of the top of his screen. So it looks to be the force buy here from Astralis. Not going to allow G2 to build up a massive amount of cash themselves. So they got four Tech Nines and AK-47 to me. Outside smokes. Get those uh, pistols down quickly towards the lower bomb side and see if you can swarm the rotating players here. It's a nice adjustment. Makes a lot of sense on paper. We'll see how it goes for them in practice. Big commitment to the spray from Hunter and a good damage inflicted to the only rifler. He might want to throw that to someone else. Kenny in the vents with the ore, but he's made it work. Bomb that down. was the first and the bomb. The rest are coming a little slow. Not flashed, not too worried. He's got Jackson support as well. Looks like G2 are handling this with ease. And Ooh. great flicks from Kenny. Looks like he's warming up. That's more like it. A couple of rounds in a row for G2 should lead to a third as well. This was the full investment for Astralis. It hasn't yielded much oh, until no. Zipex. He's gifted too. Now, they're really gonna have to start thinking about this one. They can't afford to give up another rifle. Their money's not great either. It's looking like a fantastic round, but again, Alex, sloppy play towards the end. Why have they swung towards him? Like I mean, that? he had five HP. I completely understand why. They want to get in this mindset of like, we're badasses, yeah. we're not scared of Astralis, let's just finish this round off. But it does cost them an AWP and a rifle. You, you had him locked in, right? He had a player towards Secret. He couldn't have gone anywhere, and he, it's cost you two. Sure, it's not the end of the world, but a uh, hype round there that should have been raising morale has a bit of uh, a bitter twist. We are going to see ourselves now with. Just $2,000 for Astralis. Should be the eco, the full eco, I'd imagine, with $2,400 coming in next round. And a chance for us to catch our breath. What have we understood so far from this game? Astralis looking red hot. Uh, G2, we've seen plenty of comebacks so far on the road to Rio, Alex. This is surely not looking good, but they can still win the half, bear in mind. Nuke has kind of closed in terms of the gap between the season, CTs and Ts. It certainly has, but... I think in the manner of which Astralis were acquiring definitely. their rounds is definitely, you know, reinforcing a lot of what the pre-match was yeah, setting the scene for. I'm just trying for. to find any sort of kind uh, of <laughs> positive sign for G2 at this I point. I mean, the fact that they're about to string together, what, three rounds in exactly. a row? That's the positive. Yeah. Um, and I'll be intrigued to see how far they can push it. Anything towards that ceiling of this gap before Astralis go to their favored side. I can just see disaster striking, you know, in my mind, I'm replaying the first time these teams met and I'm watching that Dust2 game play out. And every time we cut <laughs> to G2 in like lower tons or long, they're catching nades and yeah, then they're sure. getting sprayed and wall banged. And that's what I'm scared for in the second half. Well, Kenny S will spot one towards outside. Remember, they've just got the Glocks and a single Desert Eagle here. They're going to buy up next round with a loss bonus. So Glaive just trying to cause a rotation here. No one's taking the bait as of yet because they've only seen one. 
and it wasn't the bomb carrier. So we'll see. Jax challenge towards a ramp here. Should be able to pick up a few. His only real challenge will be mages now with the Desert Eagle. Zipex did have armor, but he was the first player down. Glaive coming in from lower. There could be a chance of a kill here, but dealt with a couple of CTs in position and still a nice shot from device, but probably all they find. Debris has left his ready HP and no head. P2000 to close things out there. Seven to three, as expected. There is three rounds in a row there for G2, but here come the AK-47s again. And we've got a B stream going on between Ninjas in Pajamas and Heretics for fifth place, if I'm not mistaken, Alex. Bang on. You are there bang on there. Fifth six is up for grabs right there. And, uh, well, look. The reason for that is because we already had the third place playoff and that was FaZe losing to G2 yesterday. Fourth place got decided at some point along the line there as well, I'm sure. It's all for those points. And what do points mean, guys? Uh, well, points. Prizes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you, Alex would get it. I got you, bro. I got you. Oh, dear. Breaking the, all of the skylights so that they can get their utility into that top side. Lots and lots and lots of utility going to be deployed through there throughout this game. Oops, Kenny just singeing his uh, toenails a little bit there. Outside smokes. This is the L frame smokes. You'll be seeing these thrown out by Astralis. Gives them a lot of space in yard to flex. Yeah, you can really explore your options, take a lot of vision away from the CTs. Suggest you could enter towards the warehouse as well. We know Nexa likes to focus in this position, he likes to be serpent like. Just uh, managing to mm, stay in the corner. Serpent like. Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit. He likes to just sit there at the back by the, the old drain pipes, managing to pick one off normally with the Ooh. silence M4, but using the old Gatling gun here. You'll hear them. And now a miss from Kenny. He's going to have to scarper. Can't take an Aggie line. Amonex on the retreat as well to support his AWPA. And Astralis, they'll deny that information and pause. Yeah, and it's a very good situation for Astralis. Kenny missing that shot. He's hit it a couple of times now. Look they at the exactly rotation lower. Is. Look at all the players lower. There are four There's players. four of them. Yeah, he's right. Oh, Astralis playing mind games. And now outside, Nex is hearing it all. He's going to piece this together. He's going to have to make a good call. He's been hunted down. Does find you free. Glaive will trade. And what's Astralis move here? They look like to be picking up pace. Amonex Still clearing secret. Three going towards secret. Well, with Amonex clearing this, he's going to be obviously getting everyone back up towards that top site. And there's the push. They're holding it from heaven. This is a peculiar the round. Down. It's a loose in the yard now and taking the jewel. Dude, nice catch from Hunter. Looks like they've done enough. One jewel for Glaive. He's got a 1v2 and Kenny with the AWP will pull G2 into the fourth round. Ooh, that was crucial. Round. Yeah, very odd situation there. I know why they did the did the secret play, because it was going to pull Nexa away. They were always going to do that, right? Because normally with those smokes, they'll go into warehouse and take control of warehouse and then fight towards ladder. By going down secret, that's baited Nexa away. You saw that he's not going to chase them. He actually fell back towards the CT yeah. boxes and the rotation had to come through the so other players. So the plan was just uh, the, the sound cue and the presence was enough to move Nexa out of his warehouse's yeah. serpent-like spot. And then that was so they could go back into warehouse and yard and take advantage of the fact that he wasn't so up close and personal. But unfortunately, that rotation from G2, it paid off at the right time. Well, here comes the partial by the tech lines towards Ramp. Kenny has opened things up, and Jax looks very comfortable. He's staying for the fight here, and he's got some backup for Nexa as well. But Device always seems to find a couple of kills here, and another clean round might come under a bit of scrutiny. You know, gonna have the plant towards lower. Looks like that's almost certainly gonna happen. Device has been behind some of the most impactful tech nine frags I've seen since its reintroduction into the professional play. Sure. He's done it again, found a double kill. Will it translate into anything more? Zipex giving it a go now, and Device has got himself the AK. If he gets the timing on Hunter, he finds another no head. Way. There's no way they do no this. The dinks! Zipex! He's got them both bleeding, hemorrhaging, oh. hamstrung. He's alley ooped Device here for the ace. He could actually convert this one. One more shot from the Tech Nine will take oh, down Amadek. No. And that's surely here. Kenny S of the AWP. It was just Tech Nine. They got the opening three kills, and then Device stealing two away with the Tech Nine. He finds the AK. They get the go bomb on. down. Oh. An absolute <laughs> pandemonium ensues here. Device will find the final kill. They'll win out the half. It's eight to four, and G2 are sent packing. Oh, that Tech Nine. Keep your eyes on that one, boys. I knew it would have a, a showing at some point in the road to Rio, but it took us to the grand finals. Yeah, that's a very... Look at these first two Bonk. kills. We just said it as well. That's the first three going in favor of G2. Bear in mind, they've got Tech Nines at the very top end, and all it takes is that one kill down towards lower, and that snowball, it turns into that the avalanche. Ding -kang that was crazy. I've never seen anything like it. That's oh, what the Tech yeah. Nine's known for, the run and gun potential, yeah. not trying to get the kill. Similar, just getting those taps off. Dinking them down, and that's perfect for Zipex. Your money's really, still strong. You're really starting to see the versatility of all these weapons come on through when Counter Strike is being maximized. And with Zipex already down the vent against this low buyer G2 Esports, this could spell disaster. Do they know he's down there. Kenny could be in trouble. There's a flank. Kenny's outside. 
<laughs> not, not in secret. I, mean, I always think he's so in excited. secret. Yeah, me too. There still could be going. a flank. It's all, all still possible. Oh, oh this oh, is um, such a strange counter strike, but I sort of love it. This is what we were kind of speculating. <laughs> What kind of approach will G2 have here? Apparently a very aggressive no one. Way, How's what? he got that first kill? As Astralis fight back here for the lobby. The wall bands are attempted. Damage dished out on either side, but still, it will be now a four on three. Kenny S, he'll pull one Next back. And Nexa, up. he's owned it. This has is, he? This is brilliant stuff from G2. They've just thrown caution to the wind and said push. Put your pedal to the metal and go. They've pushed lobby, they've pushed roof. This is what they did. This is what they did when they first we came saw together Heretics as a team. Doing this, right? I remember XMS on these mad flanks. You and I personally saw this when we did ESL Pro League Season 10, right? Because that's going back a while. It is, but you were very happy. You, you kind of got very giddy about this idea. Yeah, because we knew their communication at that point was absolutely trash. Yeah. We knew that the, all five members could not communicate to a decent level because of the language barrier. And their result of when they were getting beaten by playing standard Counter Strike was just using their individual ability and aim by going aggressive, by walking into lobby, by taking aim fights. Mapping it. Exactly. Exactly. And here they did the same thing. I have no idea how Dupree hit that shot. Like, how did they the whiff? Bill. Yeah, how did they whiff that bad? He, he didn't have any idea. Well, it will be G2 to pick up the round and a force fight from Astralis. They are absolutely Whoa. sending it towards the upper bomb site. They take a ton of damage. Amine will convert. And here we go once again, the brawl in the upper bomb site. First two kills for G2. No bomb to be planted as of yet. And if we got Magis down towards lower, he's got the bomb in his back oh as well. So it could be a plan here. The Tech 9 tested once again. This time the rifle comes out on top. I thought this could have been enough. Now with only Glaive and Magisk, unfortunately, it's more of a bomb plan and some damage. Kenny not interested. They'll be able to defuse now. Glaive will take himself an AK-47 and retreat. That is G2, keeping it competitive. It looked like it was a disaster at 7-0. Now we find ourselves at 6-8. It, it's still a disaster in my I mind. Mean, you said just, keep them under six. Yeah. We're already talking about eight. But there's a, there's a real chance that they can get back into this, right? Because you're already seeing the mind games and certain strategies, just the one we highlighted a few rounds ago with forcing Nexus rotation. So that will come into play as well for G2 on their T side. And they're actually starting to get a chance to warm into the game now. It's good to see that Jax, a member who we pointed out last time these two teams played on Nuke, was punished. He's actually thriving. 16 kills to his name at this point. And Astralis will take their first tactical timeout here. Yeah, bear in mind, they were 7-0 down. So bringing this back, it's not looking too bad with that context. But the final round is certainly very important. Is Jax, as Jad mentioned, he's doing very well so far. 16 and 9, 113 ADR. And uh, he's actually top fragging for the squad right now as well. Beneath him will be Nexa. And uh, hopefully see Hunter come online a little bit more as well. He has just hit double digits. I didn't know Jax's second name was Jug. I didn't know that either. Damn. So he, big could, jug. he could be a juggernaut at times. It's certainly a possibility. We'll keep that one in mind. We'll put that in the back pocket. We'll come back to it. Round 15, last one of the first map of a best of five. You can see Astralis gifted that one map advantage. And so the map pool certainly does favor them to a degree. Nuke, Vertigo, second in the wings. He'll be seeing that one. And look at the Zipex and Jax. They're about to have a duel so early, but <laughs> Zipex. Wow. He was ready. That's the old clothesline deployed. And we have got a five on four. So Astralis will take that all day long. l -Blog smoke's deployed as well. And they don't necessarily have to commit to these. Where's Nexa going to be positioned this time? He's actually back in towards main entrance. So gets himself down towards vent. Another gamble here, Chad. This yeah. is very active Counter-Strike. I love seeing the risks that G2 are taking. And, and you have to in these yeah. situations. They do it on almost every map on their CT sides. Staying this active, staying this mobile, it goes against the grain. Whatever Astralis think they've downloaded in terms of information, well, it's all wrong. We might have yard control, but we have no idea where the CTs are. Could they be totaled in topside? Have they stacked RAM? Is it just a general setup to be expecting? No. Three lower, one towards ladder. Now time starts to become a bit of an issue here. Kenny, feeling brave here. He's going to have to be. Knows he needs to find the kill back and response. Oh. Looking good. Looking very good. Takes Mages down, drops a smoke, suggesting he's fallen back, but he stayed around. Oh my god, I love it. He's going to catch the vice here. No, he's not. Very quick from Deva into the top site. Three of them oh. flooding in. All three CTs are lower right now. And they're ready. Glaze holding the vent rotation. Oh, Nexa coming in from Secret. He has managed to get out of that choke point, but you can see Glaive is so prepared. That's the tightest of lines, but it does work out for the initial damage. Nexa working with 50. Amanek will join in momentarily. Looks like he's coming in from heaven. Here comes the incendiary for Nexa. Not too bad. 
will bait them out, but won't yield a frag. Running out of time here, getting into the halfway mark, and Amanek will need both kills, not going to get anything at all. Looking to give that final frag. And the European final for ESL's Road to Rio. GG.bet odds have Astralis as the hot favorite, and G2 have Astralis as the hot favorite as well, according to the pre-game interview. But they've been throwing caution to the wind. We've seen Counter-Strike unlike that of yesterday's G2, and we're off to the pistol. Yeah, it's been uh, nice seeing them actually have a lot less pressure, mix things up. Be Kenny unpredictable. pushing hot with an AWP. Yeah, exciting scenes. And now here comes the upper Molotov, and the first headshot delivered. Dupree down to two points of foul. Be lucky to even get a frag at this what? point. But Majisk, he finished the first half with two. He's equal that total already. Make it even better now after this pistol. That's going to be the round hunter. We're going to see if he can cause any damage. Are you joking? Majis came into this half with yeah. two kills. And he's he... now got three in the second half. Well, that's incredible. He's just got his entire haul plus one in the first round of the second half. That's madness. And he is the impact player. First time you'll have seen him in the center of your screen as the impact player. Let's see it again. Oh, okay. very, very satisfying USP frag. Yeah, you always love a good USP and Deagle kills. I think they're some of the most satisfying frags. When they're in the jumping entire... in the air and you only click once. It mm. feels good. It feels real good. What else feels good is Astralis managing to get a 9-6 first half after being down 11-4 in terms of opening jewels. G2 were getting 11 of the 15 opening frags and still only able to convert six rounds. So yeah. problematic scenes ahead. Yeah, that's for sure. This is the Eco 4G2 as well. You can see they've not invested a single cent into round number 17. Just Glocks as Device will find the first there. Beautiful headshot towards Kenny S. Looking to cause more and more damage. Doesn't have to commit fully to these shots. Just trying to do a bit of damage. I and he's managed to hit him. So. Look how mobile he is. Look at him. He's just, just jabbing. He's coming in and out. <laughs> Stinging away, pulls out the USP, grabs a couple as well. Teammates are swarming. The eco rounds are the most fun rounds, as long as you're versing them and not playing them. Sure, that's a good <laughs> point. Uh, especially when you know the Glocks are out as well, you can certainly have a lot of fun out there. Device, he'll manage to pick up three of them, uh, managing to tag a couple of the scouts and finishing them off with the USP. Beautiful shots here. Body shots in the first, dinks the second, or binks him, wherever you're from. And uh, we'll get into round number 18, where the AKs will be coming out for sure. We've got three of them so far, Hunter and Amadek waiting to join. So. With no deaths in the previous round, Astralis still have two MP9s in the scout here, but it's enough to win a round. If they do, it's considered a bonus victory, and we'll see if they can do it. We certainly will. Going to be seeing the flame down early, containing Nexa. Oh, the double nade. That looks really good. Get oh, out of here. Damn, damn, look at Hunter. He's presenting oh. himself. He's submitted. <laughs> Device is daddy, clearly, and he does head back towards the ladder room. Four versus five, and that's a stunning way to start off a round. Well, <laughs> you might not have as much firepower, but uh, they've certainly got the utility to Back it up. That was impressive. Double grenades towards the silo and perfectly deployed. Hunter goes down. He'll have nothing to say about this one. Trying the luck outside once again. Going to send absolutely everyone with the AK-47s gun out. Looking to find a pick in response. What a horrible way to start your first gun round. One of your star players taken out of the equation. But that is a great trade. 4v4 now and yard control granted. Could still be very, very promising for Cheat. Um, Bro, come on. Okay, he has a, actually a slight gap. He works with it. He's even caught a glimpse of another. This time, Jax catches him three to three, but still two SMGs for Astralis. Can they make it work, Hank? Time will tell. They've got lots of information towards the lobby, so they can at least focus towards upper right now. Their only threat of danger is that they go down towards the lower bomb side. But as you can see, G2 edging up towards heaven. Now they've got up. They've got a smoke and a couple of flashes, a grenade though. Not quite full damage there, but certainly weakens them for the SMGs. Zipex has a molly here. Ready 20 waiting. seconds. It's getting awkward, especially if Jax goes down. They've got two frags. Kenny can't clutch and Magisk. He secures another for Astralis. That was a great chance for G2. Squandered in the final moment. Still a difficult round there for Astralis. Great shots coming in from G2 after giving up a couple there. It was Kenny S that found Glaive. They managed to get a kill towards Heaven as well. It was looking good for sure, but it all started here. I haven't seen a successful grenade like that in years. Was that was three, three of them? Yeah, yeah. So that was where the, the delay came in. So it was the third uh, that managed to get the kill. But what a beautiful shot on that scout as well. They had to work so hard for this round, but my God, they have a delay. Going forward right here in the second half, we've only had three rounds of Counter-Strike played, but all of the openings have been in the favor of Astralis here. So that's the changing of the tide, at least in that regard. And you can see what that looks like as far as the rounds are concerned. And now with G2, I don't want to say backs against the wall, it's about number one, but with some questions to ask themselves here, 
they should be going for just a partial buy. They'll get the max loss bonus into the next round of 3,400. So with what they have here, you know, just get some tech nines. Similar scenes as what we saw Astralis walking away with in the first half. And just to note as well, you can see Astralis, they already have a map under their belt. They came from the upper bracket. If they win Nuke, they'll be their second. They need three. And uh, that could actually be happening here. Astralis on their CT side up against just Desert Eagles and Tech Nines. We normally say G2 can be pretty deadly in these sort of situations, but with almost no grenades and only one player of Kevlar, it doesn't look good. 13 6 looks like a lock in. Now that is. A statistic, it's a peculiar one. It's not necessarily one you can infer too much from directly, but the fact that there hasn't been a single flash assist does definitely give you something in form of picture of how this game has been playing out. Very individualistic G2's priority coming into this one, and already we are seeing nice mow down of the ramp push. In fact, Device re peeking into these deagles like they're ducks. He's not worried, and another Ooh, one yikes. clean to the jaw, and he takes his fourth as well. No sweat on his brow. Another day in the office for Nikolai. Wow, what's his second? Uh, it starts with an R. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how you pronounce it. Definitely with an R. Yeah, I'm sure uh, the majority of Denmark would know exactly what his name is. Is uh... Look, you heard Kenny when we had him in for the interview. Kenny, at one point in his career, was the best opera in the world. There's no argument about that. For of Kenny course. to say, Device is currently considering how competitive Counter-Strike is at this point, the best opera in the world. I don't think you can have too many arguments there. He he has to be, by the book, easily Absolutely. one of the best players in the he, world. He has been for me for the last few years. In terms of trophies converted and consistent performances, Look at this. he's the full package. He knows oh. what he has to do, and he's in the zone right now. Let me tell you. That is a great pick. The confidence just looking so fantastic out there for him right now. Amanek thought he had a nice, tight, passive line to control the yard push. Device, though, on red. First 10 seconds, and now he's going secret safely. Yeah, Amanek 4 and 17 as well, so he's having a rough one out there. Look at the angles they've been forced to hold. Kenny's now just trying to find this aggressive orb. They have no idea where he is, and he's completely loop-de-looped his way back into secret to support the outside yard hold. He's on his own right now, though. Oh, never mind. It's not going to matter. Magus, we talked about his woes in the first half. Already has six kills now in the second. Continuing to punish G2 here. How many kills have they even gotten in the second half? It doesn't feel like many. Not many. Yeah. Pistol was a clean sweep. The third round, they got two. I think that's pretty much it. It was a clean sweep second as well, if I'm not mistaken. They took a full eco. They only have three kills so yeah. far in this second half. Well, there you go. Excuse, was that three? Three yeah. kills. Round, four rounds played. Yeah, okay, doing the quick math. Thank you, Hank. 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 Yeah, Hank. Your evil twin. I thought Hank was his evil twin. I'm pretty sure Hank and Henry are the same guy. I see them in the same room all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so we get ready towards the upper execution there. Four versus two before it even can build up a bit of excitement for G2 here. And there's another player. Oh, oh. Device, he's, <laughs> he's still alive. He's al how did he allow 10 seconds to get away with this? Device is showboating. He's having a lot of fun. And doesn't look like Hunter will go down to Dupree. And Kenny still hasn't hit this shot. <laughs> Device, I've never seen this side of him. Why is he all Mickey Mouse Disney today? Oh, dear. I love it. I, I enjoy this. They're oh. winning in such a fashion that I don't think they're worried about getting punished at all here by G2 on the first map of Nuke. It's looking like one way traffic at this point. Next, he'll be knifing people. Who is this guy? What's JW done to him? Yeah, it's something, apparently. He is definitely looking himself, I have to say. Yeah. And uh, we'll see if he can continue it. Device currently on 22 kills and 13 deaths. And we've only had 20 rounds of play. So G2 will take a tactical timeout. It's going to have to be some speed here from Malek. 14-6 down, T side. Money pretty much broken as well. Here's the B stream. NIP will be in the lead after their CT performance here and uh, have eight rounds playing seven. Uh, they're certainly the favorites going to that one, but uh, seven is a pretty bad, good haul on the T side. Yeah, and there's an interesting piece uh, released recently by HLTV.org oh, on Nevera. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't want to be known as Screams Brother, but unfortunately for him, uh, he's going to be known if as anything, Screams Brother for a little while. got him into the spotlight. Yeah. So I feel like you can't really be too mad about it, but I understand what he means. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as anyone that's uh, had a sibling will understand sure. exactly where he Nevera is coming from with that one. The constant quest for independence as we all continue on i used to be my mum's a, a dance teacher i just used to be jody's son to all the uh, all jody's the son jody's son hey yeah. jody's son i'm pretty oh. sure i'm just henry's friend to be honest <laughs> in some circles so we'll continue on <laughs> four people walking behind the outside smokes today and in round 21 it's magis to try and contest no utility so they get completely 
and safely across. Looks like they kind of spotted him there as well, but they, you can see a distinct lack of utility. They have one Molosov, which is the bare minimum, so you can get down towards low. You need to molly these steps in front of you there. They'll probably have to do that, or they'll challenge with the AWP and hope for the best. They've gone for the latter, and down they go towards lower. Dinked. First ding from Glaive. Yeah, and look at the nade. He wanted to try and catch Jax. He wasn't far off. It does one damage. Valve's new program working wonders. Device will manage to get to the first. Can't believe he's gotten away so cleanly. Glaive's got him covered from the vulnerability. You can see their protocols. They're so meticulously outlined. A smoke towards the door's position. 48 oh, seconds. Chad, walk me through this trap. Oh, I, I don't even know how they can get out here. There is a little bit of a relief in Warehouse at the moment. As you can see, Nexa, ah, he's uh -huh. peering out towards the Heaven position, but with only 35 seconds remaining on the clock, the low HP of Jackson, not really a lot of utility to work with. They have to hope Astralis present them some frags because working for these kills, it's not going to be easy. They have to go through main and split through ladder. 20 seconds. Oh, it's not looking good at all. And if Glaive gets a freebie, which he has, that could be it. Oh, oh he gets the bomb oh. down as well. They won't even get a chance to plant. Not a fun way to see 15 put on the board. You can see Kenny S. He's picked up the bomb and he's got 10 he seconds, he go? I guess. He has to. He's going to just melt. Magisk will find him before he can consider the save. He didn't know what to do. Stuck in limbo and now stuck in the face of 15. Astralis very quick into the second half already on map point. So seven kills now on the uh, T side here for G2. That's seven frags. That's all they've been able to mount. In round 18, they managed three. In round 20, they managed three. And just there, only one. So these rounds have been blowouts from Astralis here. They are really making a statement here against G2. Yeah, for the comparison, 29 kills for Astralis. It does feel like a statement, doesn't it? This is a, a straight up cry to all of the rest in Counter-Strike. Look what we're capable of and look at us pursue another trophy. Online well, or otherwise. They could probably close it out here, to be honest with you. Up against Mac 10s, Tech 9s, and the Galils. There's a chance it will be delayed for a couple more rounds, but this is the death sentence for G2. Looking good for Dupree to find something here. Kenny will be smoking off towards heaven. And a molly for Hut. In combination. So we're off to the races. Will it be top side? Nexa held at bay by Dupree. You can ramp. see they're going ramp. And Zipex, what the off angle he's gone for there. It actually gets in the double. Oh dear. It's ending right here. G2. They can't make a dent in Astralis' defense.